There's a lot that's skeevy about this uh, Matt Gates, Joel Greenberg thing that they just, that Matt Gates is saying, thing, you know, like, let's go party in a college town when he's, what, 34, 33 at the time? And let's uh, go party in a college, you know, find some college parties after the RNC and those kind of things. Like, there's a lot about that that's a little whatever. But again, adults, none of my business. If, a, if, a, if an 18-year-old college student decides to hook up with a 72-year-old None of my business. I don't care if they're gay, straight, male, female. None of my business. If you can send an 18-year-old to war, you they can choose to have and give them a gun and have them shoot a stranger to defend their country. Er, everything else, there's there's like a sliding scale of what's, you know, what you can do in a level of maturity from that point on, right? I just and if you don't believe that, then by God. Make it so that we can only have people who are 25 and older join the military. Knock yourself out. I'm for it. I'll help you. I'll help you march. But if we're going to say 18 is an adult, everything above 18, even if I think it's gross, it's none of my business because I believe, and I know this is difficult for the Matt Gateses of the world, there is a difference between an adult and a child. And there are emotional differences, which you can argue, and that's the kind of maturity factor. But there are legal differences that are mechanical so that they're all cut and dry. We all understand what they mean. Okay? Ages of consent being what they are, adults being what they are. And in the state of Florida, where Matt Gates is a sitting congressperson and his father was in state government and they're all locked in and his best running buddy who he called a wingman and brought to parties with Roger Stone and DeSantis and all these folks for years, by the way. This isn't like, all these pictures aren't like, oh, look at Roger Stone. He's like 72 in this picture and he's in all of, no. He, there are pictures of Joel Greenberg going back years with these guys. So, uh, over the course of it, there's, you know, we know that Joel Greenberg has been cooperating. We know, you know, just like Lev and Igor, Matt Gates has his own Lev and Igor in Joel Greenberg. But we don't, we haven't until now known what he was saying. What What's he giving him? What's he got? Well, we found out that they paid for some of these girls, uh, um, with Venmo, hiding them as other stuff, which is, I mean, if you think Rudy Giuliani is dumb about technology, dude, what, what are you talking about? Like, it's, I mean, it would be weird if at that time of night, you went to an ATM and took out 900 bucks, and then magically that dude passed out 300 bucks each to people after right but you'd at least have some plausible deniability in cash between you and what happened to that cash that's not my 900 bucks i took out 900 bucks i still have it here's 900 bucks like just walk around with 900 bucks and you when the story hits you go and take 900 bucks that you've been hiding in your mattress out and walk around with it oh uh oh my gosh that's beautiful according to eric in our chat room rudy is holding mm -hmm. a press conference in weehawken this afternoon oh who is uh, uh, uh rudy giuliani is holding a press conference oh no oh boy i see i thought i was going to get away with not streaming this afternoon but i guess not so can i read to you the skeeviest part of the joel greenberg uh story okay so so far by the way so far yeah because right. they've got his phones and stuff and you can't tell me there aren't pictures you can't tell me there aren't that the pictures we're not going to start seeing some blurred pictures. These are the pictures that that Matt Gates shared on the House of Congress, on the floor of Congress. And by the way, in the last in case you need a reminder, in the last six months, um, we have had Republicans sharing nude pictures of possibly underage girls on the floor of Congress and other Republican Congress people giving insurrectionists tours of the building before they stormed the place and wiped excrement on the walls. So it's not your dad's Republican party. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. So there was a, a letter, uh, digital, like an email or text that Joel Greenberg sent to Roger Stone that according to the daily beasts report, um, they quote it. They have pictures of it. that says on more than one occasion, this is Joel Greenberg writing to Roger Stone. 
where he later says, I'll give you $250,000 in Bitcoin if you can make this happen. And Roger Stone goes, yeah, everybody's freaking out about pardons right now. I'll see what I can do. On more than one occasion, this individual, and he's talking about somebody else, by the way, was involved in sexual activities with several of the other girls, the congressman from Florida's first congressional district, and myself, Matt Gates. The website said Greenberg uh, wrote in reference to the 17-year-old, from time to time, gas money or gifts, rent or partial tuition payments were made to several of these girls, including the individual who was not yet 18. I did see the acts occur firsthand and Venmo transactions, cash apps, and other payments were made to these girls on behalf of the congressman. Let me read that top part again. I did see the acts occur firsthand. The acts. Now you're going, well, that's the payments. He's talking about the acts or the payments. No, no, no. He included, no, 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 as Rudy would say. No, 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 no. The Venmo transactions, Cash App, and other payments were made on behalf of these girls in the Congress. That's separate. That's something else. He saw the acts occur. Greenberg appears to have written the letter uh, on the advice of notorious Trump associate Roger Stone, who is also a friend of both Greenberg and Gates, and who has hung around, you know, and has his own swingers lifestyle, which is just, (laughs) oh, what a dandy. According to screenshots obtained by the Daily Beast, Greenberg sought help from Stone in late 2020 and early 2021 in obtaining a pardon from the White House offering to pay him at least $250,000 in Bitcoin for his assistance. So these guys, again, guys, you're going to pay through Bitcoin for this pardon, right? This is your plan. Sounds smart. Use a crypto. Don't use cash. Don't write a check. Use use Bitcoin. Well, don't send digital messages about it. How I am I, I should have chosen a life of crime. I would have. I mean, I feel like sometimes I feel like Gabriel Byrne in uh, in Miller's Crossing. Wow, that's you a pull. Two sides against the middle, and sitting in there going, the bosses of both of these families, you know, the the Italians and the Irish mob who are fighting each other. You're both idiots. You're both idiots. I can't believe I'm working for idiots. This is amazing. Um, Greenberg, using the encrypted messaging app uh, Signal, allegedly told Stone in a series of messages on December 21st that he was facing pressure from uh, federal federal investigators to, quote, flip against Gates. Uh, The FBI, DOJ, and Secret Service and a bunch of people from D.C. have repeatedly made attempts to meet with me lately. I have declined, but they are definitely ramping up pressure. They want me to flip. They have made offers, uh, they've made offers, uh, offers, beg your pardon, which I've declined. I even fired my lawyers this week because they tried to convince me to cooperate and that part, that a pardon was impossible. Rehire your lawyers, Joel. They were yeah. right. You putts. Ah, you provincial putts. By this time, Greenberg was already facing multiple federal indictments, including sex trafficking charges related to a girl between the ages of 14 and 17. Now, we've been talking about a 17-year-old in terms of this, but under the idea that it was somehow she entered the picture as a 17-year-old, turned 18, and then Gates had sex with her when she turned 18. That's, That's basically what seems to be from what he's talked about on uh, on Tucker's show, his fallback safety. Yeah, I may have met her when she was 17, but I didn't sleep with her till she was 18. But this looks like Joel Greenberg was having sex with and grooming this girl since she was 14 years old. What the hell is wrong with South Florida? And he was also accused of illegally using a state database to look up information about the girl and other people with whom he was engaged in sugar daddy relationships, among other things. So basically, out of fear that he was going to get Chris Hansen, right? Joel Greenberg is using state uh, computers, DMV records and the like, to look up information on these, like, oh, is she really a 14-year-old girl or is she a 19-year-old or 20-year-old cop who happens to be short, who's operating, you know, calling me on the phone or running a fake 
um, account on one of these sites. I mean, and again, is this some sort of masterful conspiracy? No. This is just run-of-the-mill corruption. There's nothing mysterious or or amazing about any of it. It's just some dude, you know, in the old days, it was just some dude looking through files going, yeah, okay, yeah, she graduated and she hasn't graduated high school yet, you know, like, yeah, that's, you know, this is a real picture of her from the swim meet two years ago, that kind of stuff. <laughs> going through like microfish in the newspaper but he could look up in this case he could look up use the stuff that was around because he's lazy stupid and gross and although gates's alleged involvement wasn't yet known publicly greenberg told stone in a series of december 21st texts that uh that he had told his former legal team so the lawyers by the way those lawyers while they may not um, be able to testify about their clients participate in this participation in this. They can participate. In, they they could arguably say my client is innocent, but the real crook here is Matt Gates, and you might want to go look at this guy. And I'm aware of crimes uh, that he may be committing ongoing with minors or girls that were minors. My lawyers that I fired know the whole story about Matt Gates's involvement. He calls him MG. They know he paid me to pay the girls and that he and I both had sex with the girl who was underage. So naturally, they think that this is my golden ticket. Hey, dummy, it was. And I'm so <coughs> glad they walked. Not because they were people of principle, but because working as your lawyers, they thought this was what they were paid to do was keep you out of jail and give you the strongest defense possible, even if it meant cutting a deal and getting the hell out of there. Joel Greenberg uh, pulled a Ted Bundy. That's what he did. Joel Greenberg pulled a Ted Bundy. He fired his own counsel for trying to do the best thing they could to keep him out of jail. And and Joel Greenberg is, you know, is on the sexual side of the Bundy criminal world. He didn't kill anybody that we know of, allegedly. <laughs> I guess I should probably put that in there because this whole skeevy crowd is gross. So, but Greenberg told Stone that he had not been in touch with Gates about the fact that he had told his attorneys and that he they were aware. Gates has not been charged by any local or federal prosecutors repeatedly denied any wrongdoing or involvement, saying he was he has not had sex with any person who is underage. Again, I will point to the fact that Joel Greenberg was making fake IDs for people and that he had been grooming minors and that when Matt Gates his best defense might be, I thought she was 18 because that's what her ID said. And Joel told me she was 18. He lied to me. And so you're going to have these two guys rolling on each other. Um, uh, according to the Daily Beast, and we got to take a break, but according to the Daily Beast, Greenberg's letters claim that he and Gates believed the girl was 19 when they and others had sex, they and others had sex with her. Jesus. When Greenberg learned on September 4th, 2017, that she was only 17, Greenberg writes that immediately I called the congressman and warned him to stay clear of this person and informed him she was underage. Greenberg also wrote that Gates was equally shocked and disturbed by this revelation. Well, uh, kids, that's your defense. Uh, and it isn't that you didn't have sex with an underage girl. It's that you were lied to or you didn't bother to do your due diligence. But for Joel Greenberg, that's a way out. That's a way out of jail. I was not aware. I saw ID that said the otherwise. And you're like, well, yeah, you made the ID for her, you insane person. But Matt Gates, as a sitting congressman, how how are you gonna what what do you think his constituents are gonna feel about his ability to mark up a bill? When he's not even bothering to question the age of women he's randomly having sex with and that he'd had sex with with the Seminole County tax collector and several other men and they may have may or may not have all been present at the same time. Good Lord. Matt Gates, you done, son? Pack it up. I, I mean, your best I bet is... So. Say you didn't know and leave. 
and hope that you can, re you know, you can go, I was tricked and saddened and blah, blah, and I would never, and I'm happily married now, and that was a terrible part of my life, and yada, yada. You, but not, ugh, God, gross. And, the, and that whole, but, that they and others had sex with her. They believed the girl was 19 when they and others had sex with her. That sounds like, from his earlier statement, they were together. What in the... What is going... Florida man! We'll be back right after this. Wow. In addition to contacting Gates when uh, he... You know, Greenberg called Gates and said, Dude, she was 17 when all of us had sex with her, I guess, was something on the order of what was said. Wow. Um, he apparently wrote that he told the girl how serious a situation this was and how many people she put in danger. She apologized and, recogni and recognized that but lying about her age, she endangered many people. Oh my God, she's a minor. I don't... That That's one of the reasons why... I don't she's like not this happy ending. She is not mature enough to recognize the consequences of her actions. That's what makes her a minor. You can't, you don't get points for chastising a minor for lying about their age and having sex with you. What are you talking about? She apologized. She Did she? Did she? Well, did you, I hope, I hope you as a gentleman accepted her apology. Get out. I, so, uh, Stone appears in the text messages via signal to have advised Greenberg last November to create a document that, quote, tells the story fully, but be certain to include your leadership for Trump prominently, which I think means all the stuff you've done for Trump. Make sure Trump knows that you're a friendly which Greenberg did, and according to the Daily Beast, though Greenberg's letter outlined his alleged involvement with Gates, he also spoke about his support for the president, including as a donor for the infamous Super Trump billboard that appeared along Interstate 4 in 2016. Gee, I wonder if he used the same Venmo account. Good God. At one point in their text exchanges, Greenberg tells Stone he wasn't he hasn't been in communication with Gates. He, what? Since he was arrested and indicted on sex charges, what is he not returning your phone calls now? <laughs> Boo! Telling Stone, you need to stress to him the severity of all this. And while I haven't had any communication with MG, he absolutely has to know that the sex charge they hit me with would be what they would hit him with. All he has to do is explain to POTUS the situation and his exposure, and it would be very easy to do. MG is like a son to POTUS. MG is like a brother to me. Uh, no. Talk about daddy issues. Criminy. What the hell are Jeez, they doing? Bro. What in the family what are these values? Allegiances? Like what? Hashtag what are they family getting? values. Uh, say again, sorry. What are they getting from this? This is horrible. Yeah. I. Power. I mean, arguably, I mean, that's, I mean, control. I, I, there's been a big thing in the Republican Party since the Bush years under Cheney where they were talking about everybody would have a KMA card on the Republican side. A kiss my took us card, um, which would be a KMT, I suppose, um, card that if you're pulled over or some local official tries to mess with you and you're like, no, 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 I got this little presidential waiver card that's going to protect me from any of your stuff. And this was talked about openly by a lot of Republicans back in the day. Um, that this seems to be a natural extension of this. That in the Trump world, there really does seem to be a, uh, you know, a belief that, oh, it's like a pardon card. Now, the question that comes up, of course, is uh, can, you know, did Trump give Gates a, a blanket pardon in this circumstance that he can whip out. And did Rudy get a pardon for whatever he may Wouldn't have done? Wouldn't we know that? Did? Huh? Wouldn't we know that by now? Yeah, I would I would guess the, I guess, um, my guess is that when Biden smiles about this stuff and plays coy and goes, you know, and he even said, you know, they said, did you know about this raid? And he goes, hand to God, I didn't. I believe him because I don't think he wants to know. And I also think he trusts that the Justice Department is going to find the real criminality there. And like I said, it's one of the reasons why he smiled during this whole, oh my God, have you seen this Hunter Biden awfulness? 
Um, Hunter Biden just released a book copying to all the real stuff that has been talked about in his life and the rest of it's all garbage. Like, he knows it's manufactured to try and destroy his dad. That's what you do. You smile, you be honest, you out yourself. It was like the end of 8 Mile. You know what I mean? At a certain point, you just kind of out, you you openly talk about all the negative traits that you have and nobody has anything on you anymore. Um, uh, You know, it's it's why... Trolls can't hit me on being, you know, vain and egomaniacal. <laughs> and? <laughs> so, the the point being is that they, these guys, um, like, this is the weird part to it. The, it that letter um, where he's trying to get Stone to give him a pardon, where Joel Greenberg is trying to get this thing. Um, Greenberg was clear with Stone that come January 21st, I have to do what's best for me and my family. This is my life. I've got two kids. You think MG is going to come visit me in prison? Ouch. Yeah. January 20th. That's the deadline, man. The de- I'm going to I'm going to sit on my hands and play nice. If I can get a pardon and my, and and Matt can get a pardon, even if it's under the table that I can just wag. Like, where's my If I get my KMA card, then I'll keep my mouth shut for the most part. But Come January 21st? Uh Uh-uh. Come January 21st, I have to do what's best for my family. Funny that he didn't Mm -hmm. think that back when he was having sex with a 17-year-old in a room full of other dudes gacked up on ecstasy um, and was paying for sex with Venmo and pimping for other members of the Florida legislature. Because, by the way, there's a third party involved in all this that's listed in this thing, and then there's multiple other dudes. You think this dude is partying with anybody who doesn't have power? You think he's setting up parties for, like, buddies from his that don't really, you know, that work like as boat mechanics in Fort Lauderdale? You think the other guys in these group gatherings aren't connected? Are you at, This guy, uh, Joel Greenberg, was trying to build a political future on the Jeffrey Epstein business model. He was trying to do what Epstein did, but without the underage girls part. Just right there. A- 18 and over. If I could just do that, I can avoid all the, you know, what sent Epstein to jail the first time, even though he had a key to the jail and he could come and go, apparently. Even though what he was in there for was uh, for raping a minor. Because you can't have sex with a minor. I mean, I use the term, you know, but when we're talking in a legal sense and we're talking in a moral sense, you that you can't have sex with a minor. You can, it's no. rape. It's rape. This is all rape. Call it statutory rape if you want to and soften the blow. Still rape. And she, the, the fact that she, he even writes in his letter, the ego to say she apologized. Think about that for a second. Think about who you're dealing with. And think about that Matt Gates, when he was informed of it, was shocked and horrified. So, and then think back to all the time Matt Gates allegedly has gone through a bill and said, this part's bad. Oh yeah, Mr. Due Diligence? Just cretins. So between the two of them, now by the, by the way, Come January 21st, I have to do what's right for my family. Mr. I have to do what's right for my family continues. If I get you 250 k in Bitcoin, would that help? Or is this not a financial matter? Yeah, that sentence really caught my eye. Why, why wouldn't it be a financial matter? I'll tell you why. Because Matt Gates is wrapped up in it. Because other Florida politicians. Look, I can pay you. But there's another compensation that's going on in this, which is not losing you know, seven or 10 Republican Congress people who are thinking they have a future, who think they have a career, who think they aren't going to jail. Um, so, and again, I, I hesitate to give advice to criminals, but there are so many teachable lessons from them. They're really bad at it. They're real. Thank God. Yeah. I think that's I mean, there the are probably hap- some that are really good at it, but that, we don't oh, know. Oh, that's right. That's absolutely right. And um, I would like to say that the happy ending is us all seeing the moronic lack of skill in the criminality of the Trumpsters and maggots and his field. I 
Don't even get me started on on Steve Bannon stealing wall money from the maggots. Uh, I like that. That we didn't even we haven't even talked about that in months. That's still going to go through the courts. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for your support. Thanks for all the the, the support that people have been given via Venmo and via uh, patreoncom slash Sparks. We're trying to get a thousand uh, patrons. If you can and want to, please do that. patreoncom slash Sparks. Um, otherwise, subscribe, like, and subscribe on the YouTube channel. We're almost at eighteen thousand subscribers. I know we're a fledgling channel, but that's pretty great. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you next week. Thank you, Johnny Million. You're wonderful. <laughs>